impromptu PSA return video. Let's get it. What's up wrestling fans, trading card collectors? Welcome to another episode. This is going to be a quick episode. I didn't necessarily plan on doing a video of this, but I had stacks and stacks as you can see back there. So we're going to do a quick rundown of, a, I think, four recent PSA orders. These were all the, uh, I believe it was called the National Special. It was during July when the National happened. And I saw these at $18 a card. I said, I don't care how long these take. I think it said it was going to take like uh, 120 days approximately. For all the PSA haters out there, these took like a month and a half to two months. And not even, actually. I sent them in July and I just got them back the day that I'm recording this video, which is in mid-September. So it didn't take that long. So everybody that is refusing to send to PSA because you think it's going to take forever, there's still a chance it may, but mine did not take very long. So I jumped on the opportunity. I've been happy with my PSA service. I'm not like a PSA fanboy, but there's certain sets that I have going in PSA and there is clearly a value on the PSA brand from a resale perspective. And as you're gonna see through a lot of these today, some of them are PC items, some of them are strictly to sell. But let's go ahead and jump into these. All right, so here we go. This is gonna be a stack of random wrestling. I'm gonna to try to get through these as quick as possible. As I said, a lot of these are going to be PC items and a lot of them are going to be strictly for resale. If you're interested in, in purchasing anything you see here today that may be available, again, it may not, you can reach out to me on social media, send me a DM, or you can check out my eBay store. Links to all of that is in the show notes. Let's start running through these. Here we have base rookie, Austin Theory, 10 rookie, 10. Here's a refractor 10. Very happy with that. Another refractor 10. Sabu 95 BBM. Considered his rookie card a uh, 7. I thought it was going to be a little bit higher than that, but not, not terrible. Hayabusa, same thing. Considered his rookie card. PSA 9. Pretty happy with that. These consistently seem to get 7s for me. 7s or 8s, but just such a classic card. You can't really go wrong. I officially now have the full rainbow we're going to call it that, of this Ultimate Warrior playing card. Run through those real quick. I can't believe 10. Look at that. A card from 1988 that I bought loose as a single. Came in a penny sleeve and a, and a card saver, I believe, on eBay. Got a 10. So you want to say... Oh, here's another one since we're speaking about that. You want to say that grading is subjective or... You know, you can kind of shut down the rumor that there are not PSA 10 singles still out there on eBay. Brock Rookie 8, another one, same grade. These last two, I'll take a second to talk about these. This is pure nostalgia. With this one, to my knowledge, this is one of the few Hulk Hogan cards that he is, it doesn't, it's technically Hulk Hogan as the label says, but Rip from No Holds Barred, which is such a you know horrible movie to some people, but a classic movie to me for nostalgia. And then for this Ultimate Warrior, this is considered a rookie card. And again, this is a two. But this this one's a little bit, but this one mainly. These are cards that are just so hard to find that I don't care what grade they came in. I actually bought both of these raw for a total of, I don't know, like 150 bucks total for the, for the two. So you couldn't even buy one of these graded at the grades that I got them in for that cost. That's why I'm a huge proponent of buying raw and grading and just, you know, taking the grade that you get and being happy with it. And in the long run, that's going to be the best value perspective out there. So on to the next stack. We've got some non-sports. This will be real quick. 1976 Marvel stickers of the Punisher. We've got some old school Magic 1993 Alpha. Now, for those of you unfamiliar, Magic started in 93. Alpha is the very first set. So these cards are pretty hard to find especially in decent condition. I'm going to consider six a decent condition. We've got two gray ogres, a six and a seven. Pretty happy with those. A five on the Deadpool. Not too happy with this, but honestly, this one was a resale thing because while I like the card, it is a little nostalgic because one of the first comics I ever bought had Deadpool in it. It was Deadpool and Cable, but not the biggest Deadpool fan, so I'll probably get rid of that one. And a PSA 10 Charizard. 
All right, next two stacks, we've got Road Warrior stack and an Undertaker stack. We're going to start with the Road Warriors. For those unfamiliar, 1985 Wrestling All-Stars. That's right. You knew of 82, 83 All-Stars. I bet some of you didn't know that they had some in 85. I'm going to do a whole video on this whole set at some point, but for right now, we're just focusing on this one. This is considered their rookie card for those of you who care about that sort of thing, but I'm just glad to have one of their first cards added to the Road Warriors PC. And then we have the full run of the playing cards. Unlike the Warrior, we did not get any 10s on these, all 8s, but, you know, we'll take it. The only playing card that features a tag team on it, and you gotta love that logo. All right, Undertaker and Steve Austin's up next. So, this is a good mix here of modern and vintage. And so we've got some rookie cards, we've got some shiny stuff, numbered stuff. Here we go. Nine on the Refractor. Nine on the X-Fractor. Another X-Fractor with a nine. This is all 2020 Topps Chrome, if you didn't already notice. The green 10, this is a pretty big one. I had one of these previously and traded it away, but very happy to have this one. One of my favorite Undertaker cards ever. Again, you know, you're happy when you get 10s on stuff like this, but when you submit iconic cards like this and you only get a seven, who cares because you love the card and look at that image. One of the best Undertaker images on a card to ever be put out. Got a seven, got a six. Now, and this is a pretty solid card. You know, I talk about how I don't like action shots. I like the posed shots like this more. But this one is posed enough in the ring for action that I still like it. So not sure what I'm going to do with this one yet. And then these are technically rookie cards if you want to go by the standard of what's the first year. 91, that's what all these came out. So these are the playing cards. And again, I love the image. Look how menacing that looks. I mean, do you want to mess with that? You want to mess with that? I didn't think so. All right, so we got the whole run of Undertaker here. Again, no tens. Somebody say something about Steve Austin cards. We got tons of them. This one I just wanted. Now, I know this is from the 95, which most of these are 95s. And this one I don't see a lot. And I thought it would be cool to just kind of pair it with the PSA 9 rookie card that I have of this already in the same set. Just, you know, something cool to have to add to it as a side thing. All right, here we go. These are all the same card. That's right. We've got that many 95 Steve Austins because I'm that big of a believer in that card, this card specifically, that, you know, it is the first pack-pulled Steve Austin card that was ever available if you don't count all the other odds and ends. Personally, I don't care about any of that stuff. I just want all the cool cards. But there are people who will only buy what is the Beckett definition of pack-pulled first card, blah, blah, blah. So I bought a stack of these. And, you know, I bought them a couple years ago. I think they cost me like a buck a piece. So $1 plus $18 to grade. I don't care what these grades are. It's a win. However, we've got a nine, eight, another eight, six, not so good. Take an eight, another nine, seven, crappy six. You got to get, PSA is always throwing those sixes in there to us. Eight, more eights. Eight seems to be the common theme. Yeah, we're going to finish it off with an 8. Best for last. This is all rock cards. And I believe it's all modern. So, of course, the rock and the tribal chief. Are we going to see these guys at WrestleMania in Hollywood? An 8, you know, again, by the card, not the grade thing. And I know to some people 99 is not that rare. But this is just an iconic thing that could turn out to be one of the biggest matches in wrestling history if... Everything goes according to plan. So two of those, both eights. Here's a 10 refractor chrome. Now, do I think these, these 10 refractor chromes, you know, they're not as rare as you may think. But that being said, I think it's just kind of an iconic shot. And refractors are iconic. PSA 10 iconic. Kind of a trifecta of what people may want. Now, I am going to at least keep one of these because I'm trying to put together... Uh, you know, I originally set out to put together the whole rainbow of this, but I'm going to end up being about three cards shy. There are three specific cards that I just can't seem to pin down for what I'm willing to pay or what people are willing to want in trade. So I think I'm going to have to draw the line at somewhere, but let's keep going. We've got another 10, 8, 9 X Fractor. This one's huge. Green, 10. Love it. Green 9, still not too bad. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this quick rundown of a PSA return. 
And again, if you're interested in any of these, check the show notes below for links to my eBay store or my social media where you can DM me and we can go back and forth on trades, pricing, whatever it is, if you're interested in any of this. I hope you had fun watching this video. Maybe you learned something along the way, no matter what that is. I talked about a lot of stuff, cover a lot of ground in these videos. But if it brought you value, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a like and share this video and the channel and any content that I'm putting out. Please spread the word about this. Again, trying to grow the pie for wrestling cards get more people into wrestling cards. And, you know, the more that I see these big-time, six-figure rookie sports card guys, like we're going to say Trey Lance, he breaks his ankle week two of the NFL season, the more of that kind of crap that I see, which is really unfortunate, the more I believe in wrestling cards long-term from both a collector standpoint and a value standpoint. Because if you're a Mankind collector, if you're a Hulk Hogan collector, maybe they're at the gym and they break their leg. It's not going to hurt the value of their cards. Keep collecting wrestling cards. Keep having fun. Until next time, click the videos on the screen for more great wrestling card content that I'm putting out. I'll see you next time.